Hello everyone, my name is Hitesh and I welcome you all to YouTube channel of Espresso. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our video so you get regular notification on the content published by us. Now the topic of discussion today is actually connected to the previous video which we had published. That was a strategy of pull call spread. I would recommend if you haven't seen that, please go and watch that because that will actually be helpful in understanding the strategy which we'll be talking about in this video. Now, sometimes what happens that you have a bullish on the market, but you are not very aggressively bullish. You feel that the market will go up only to a certain extent and then you try to figure out the strategy which could be run along with it and made some decent money out of it. And the strategy which we'll talk about in this video actually helps you in tackling the market which has got limited upside potential. And I'm talking about the strategy of bull put spread. Now, under this strategy, you basically run two option positions simultaneously and you take advantage of it. Let us understand what does this strategy deal with. Now through this strategy, one is willing to express his moderately bullish view on the market. Say if you are trading index options and you feel that the market has got upside potential, but that is capped to a certain extent. So you could make advantage of a small bull ride in the market using the strategy of bull put spread. Under this strategy, as the name would suggest, you have put options positions running. Don't get confused when I say put option because normally it is assumed that you trade put options when you have a bearish view on the market. But under this strategy, you buy one put option position and you sell one put option position. So you're selling at the money put option and you're buying out of money put option position while implementing the strategy of bull put spread. So let us understand the strategy with the help of a simple example. Say the spot price of Nifty is around 17,500 and you have a moderately bullish view on the market. You feel there is a small amount of upside potential in the market and I want to capture and make some gains out of it. So what do you do? You simply buy one auto money put option of say 17,400 and you pay a premium of say about 30 units. And to complement that, you sell one at the money put option of 17,500 and the premium which you receive for selling that at the money put option is 80 units. So this strategy is a net positive strategy, which means you receive more money than what you pay out at the time of entering the contract. So and the total inflow is basically 80 units received minus 30 units paid, which is a 50 units of inflow at the time of implementing of the strategy. Now let us try and figure out what does the payoff looks like at different levels of expiry. Now say if the market expires around say 17,300, our views are completely wrong and the market expires on the downside which means there's a potential of us making losses in this trade. So what happens to 17,400 put option, which we bought at the time of entering the contract? It was out of money that time, but it's expired in the money. So the intrinsic value of that put option is 100. How do we get that? The put option strike price of 17,400 minus the 17,300 expiry price, which gives you an intrinsic value of 100 units and you paid a premium of 30 units at the time of entering the contract which means this leg gives you a profit of 70 units at the time of expiry of the contract. But we had also sold a 17,500 put option and that has got an intrinsic value of 200 units with the same calculation that is 17,500 minus 17,300 and the premium which you had received at by for writing that option was 80 units, which means this leg of 17,500 put option gives you a loss of 120 units and the overall loss in the strategy would be 70 units of gain in the first leg and the 120 units of losses in the leg which we wrote that is a loss of 50 units. Now say market is moderately bearish as against moderately bullish and it say expires around 17,400. In that case, the 17,400 put option which we bought has expired at the money and it basically has a zero intrinsic value and the premium which we pay to buy that option actually becomes a loss in that leg. Similarly, the 17,500 put option expires in the money and it has got an intrinsic value of 100 units and we had received a premium of 80 units, which means this leg also gives you a loss of 20 units. So we are losing money in both the legs, one where we bought, one where we sold and the overall loss in this strategy at 17,400 expiry would be a loss of 50 units. Again, in third case, we are trying to understand and talk about the break even point in this strategy. Whenever we enter any trade, we always want to know what is the point at which I don't lose money or what is the point after which I don't lose money in the market. So in this case, the price of break even is 17,450. How do we get that? In the strategy of bull put spread, 
the break even point is that point which is the difference between strike price of the at the money contract which was 17500 for us and the net premium received at the time of entering the strategy which was 50 units so 17500 minus 50 units which is 17450 becomes the break even point for us in this strategy of bull put spread and the calculation follows 17400 put option which we had bought expires worthless so the premium which we paid to buy that option becomes a loss in that leg and the 17500 put option which we had sold has an intrinsic value of 50 units and we received a premium of 80 units which means that leg gives us a profit of 30 units so 30 units lost in the first leg and 30 units gained in the second leg which means it's a zero sum game and that is a break even point for this strategy i'll again reiterate the formula for break even it is the strike price of at the money contract minus net premium received at the time of entering the contract and that is a break even point now in case 4 the market actually expires at the point when we entered the market that is 17500 in that case both the option legs which we are dealing that is the put option legs which we are dealing have expired worthless which means both of them make no money which means the premium received or paid becomes an income for that leg so 17400 put option we paid a premium of 30 units which means that becomes a loss in that leg and the 17500 put option which we sold made us a gain of 80 units at the time of entering the contract and that becomes a profit in that leg so the overall profit when the market expires at 17500 becomes a gain of 50 units Again, now say in the now last case, our views are right and the market expires around say 17,600. Then in that case, both the strike prices have expired worthless because that is in case of put option, if the strike prices are below the spot price at the time of expiry, which means both the options expire worthless and the premium paid or premium received becomes the loss or gain in that leg. In this case, also the put option which we bought gives us a loss of 30 units and the put option which we sold by getting a premium of 80 units becomes a gain in that leg and the overall profit is 50 units in this case when the market expires moderately bullish now we have seen five instances when the market has given us losses has been a break in point has been a profit point let us try and analyze those so this is how the payoff chart for this strategy looks like at various levels of the expiry we get certain losses and certain profit but the interesting thing is that your losses are capped on the downside and your income is also capped on the upside now one important disclaimer, if you have an aggressively bullish view in the market, I would recommend not to use this strategy because this will limit your profit potential. There are other strategies pertaining to that. We'll discuss about those in the videos to follow. Now what are the key points of consideration here is that it doesn't matter how much ever the market weakens, your loss making potential or your loss making is limited, which means you can't lose beyond a certain extent, which in our example is 50 units. It could be anything different depending on what strike prices you choose and again on the flip side how much ever the market goes up your profit potential is also capped in this strategy which is why this strategy is more suited if it's in a rangy market or if you're having a moderately bullish view in the market if you're having a bigger view in the market please don't use this strategy because there are other strategies which could make potentially much more gains for you now what are the pros and cons of using the strategy bull put spread let us understand the advantages first the important thing is that at the time of entering the strategy you see premium basically it's a net positive strategy which means there's a certain inflow at the time of entering the contract or at the time of entering the strategy the maximum loss is defined in the strategy so if you are a risk averse trader and you want to know how much is the maximum i can lose the strategy might suit your profile because you would know that this is the maximum loss for me and I wouldn't lose beyond that. You can plan your trades and enter the multiples of the trade depending on how much of risk you're willing to take in the market. The strategy is best suited as I've already told you for a conservative trader or a risk averse trader. Someone who's not willing to lose too much money in the market but still wants to gain certain amount of income or profit out of it, this strategy best suits their profile. Now, what are the disadvantages or the drawbacks of the strategy? So the maximum profit is actually limited even after you have bought an option position. Why that happens? Because even though you might have bought an option position, you have also sold one option position, which means if the position starts drifting in your favor, the other position will start making losses for you, which is where your profit is capped and you can't make too much more than that. And the strategy doesn't suit the risk profile of those traders who are actually more risky traders who are like to trade will expose a little more risk in the market because your profit is cat and your loss is cat and you know that beyond a certain point i can't make too much money in this strategy so this strategy if you look at the whole discussion suits more conservative approach more risk averse trader and your profit and loss 
a captain in the strategy now what are the key takeaways or learnings from this strategy now bull put strategy is best suited if one has a moderately bullish i keep repeating the word moderately bullish because we have to understand that if you have a very bigger view in the market or much bigger view in the market there are other strategies which could get more gains for you but if you are expecting only a small amount of movement in the market on the upside then this strategy fits that bill the bull put strategy is a net credit strategy which means at the time of entering the strategy there's an inflow of certain units of capital and that happens because you are writing one at the money put option and you're buying an out of money put option and at the money put option has obviously more premium charge than out of money put option and which is where this strategy has inflow at the time of entering the contract and most importantly the higher the spread between at the money and out of money contract the higher your make profit making potential but that comes at a cost of also losing money in the market so the spread difference defines the kind of money which you could make or lose using the strategy in the market so i hope this discussion gave you a decent understanding on the strategy of bull put spread when can it be used how do we implement the strategy what are the benefits what's a payoff what's a break even point and most importantly what kind of traders can use a strategy of bull put spread now do let us know that if you want to talk more about the strategy and learn more about it put everything in the comment section i'll be more than glad to answer it and i would like to wrap up with a small questions do you actually use this kind of strategy in the market and do you also feel that this strategy can be implemented in some other way than what we have talked about in discussion put everything in the comment section we'll actually look at it with a lot of keen interest and please subscribe to our channel to get more frequent updates and more regular videos from us i thank you for your patient heading i'll again see you in future videos of financial education thank you so much investment in securities market are subject to market risks Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Securities market में निवेश बाजार जोखिमों के आधीन है। Scheme से संबंधित सभी दस्तावेजों को ध्यान से पढ़ें।